Well, it's a new day, so you know what time it is? It's time for another video. That's what I like to say. I've just removed some wallpaper in a kitchen. Now, I'm ready for the next step. Do you know what that is? If you don't, stick around. Now here's one of those slits from the wallpaper when they try to double cut it and stuff. Okay, that's broken the surface of the sheetrock paper, the face of the sheetrock paper from behind it, from beneath it. Okay, now what, what do you suppose you can do to fix this? Do you have to put tape over that self-adhesive tape? like I usually do. No, you don't have to do that because you don't have that seam going all the way through the paper, okay? What you're gonna do, let's pan this, let's zip, come back just a little bit, okay? You're gonna take a sharp sheetrock knife. We're just gonna cut on the edge of that, maybe out, out as far back as you feel it needs to be. Alright. Like that. You see that's the that's the sheetrock paper that's come off. Now you can tell. You can tell from that. Let's get the light in here. Let's get this in a little bit. Okay, see how it's still, it's still loose there. Over here, so we're gonna cut that. I think you can see this, hopefully. Ah, I'm trying to do it so you can see what I'm doing. Let's move the camera over. We're going to move it over here. Gotta just score that there. That's that's all loose mud and the top surface of the sheetrock paper. Okay, you gotta get that off, and you'll feel that all the way on down if you you've got the line. You're just gonna have to look on down this way. And I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it go just about all the way down. And I also have another joint right up in there. See that line? And that's loose. Okay. So I'm just going to take my sheetrock knife. I hate to do it because I know I'm going to have to patch that, but I've got to do it because if I don't, if I just put mud directly over that, it's going to pucker and I don't want that puckering underneath the new spray texture, okay? But it looks like it's going to be suspect all the way down. So I'm going to have to do that on both sides of the seam. Get yourself a sharp sheetrock knife when you do this. You don't want a dull one. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to, I'm going to play with that. And, and see, right there, it looks like I, looks like I need to go even further. Let's see here. Looks like I gotta go even further along this edge. If 
I got any question with it, I can, I can cut out a little bit more. And you see, that's just, with that just being on the surface, now I can fill that in. I'm not going to fill that in with just regular all general all-purpose joint compound. I'm going to take quick set. I'm going to mix up a little bit and I'm going to put that in there. The quick set is going to bond in there tighter and you can use that on joints and stuff and that's going to be get hard today. So I can go over it a couple times before I skim this area. So see I've got to work on that first so I can put my my joint compound, my quick set joint compound on all of these lines like that so it can be drying as well as my other patch area. So I'm going to work on cleaning that up and we'll get on with some other patch areas too. So the idea is you've got to work in sequence. You've got to do all your patches first. All these little patches can be fixed with your, with your quick set first so that that can be drying while you're getting ready for the next step. Okay. Because there's a lot of patches, there's a lot of patches I gotta do on this wall. So that's why that's why I want to work on those first. You know, before anything else. Once I put my quick set on here, I can be letting that dry and I can be working on something else. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep cutting. Well, my arm's probably in your way, huh? I'm just going to keep doing that. I might have to take a little putty knife if I got one. Nice sharp putty knife. Kind of get some of that stuff out of there. So my quick set's got something to, to hit in. All right. That's why I don't think I need tape over this. The quick set's going to kind of fit in there and get nice and tight and hold the rest of the, the uh, paper edge down. And so when I skim over that with, with general all-purpose joint compound, that's going to hold it all in there. If I put tape on there, then I'd have to, I'd have to build this out, you know, wider, wider, about this wide on all these patches and float it out a little bit before I do the next step. But at this point, I don't really feel I need to do that because this is just surface area only. If that crack was a joint between two pieces of sheetrock, let's say, then I would have to put the tape, wouldn't I? Because if I put mud right over that, it's just gonna crack out again. Well, this particular area won't.